What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome. I am the Crypto Crow, and uh, figured I was going to do a quick, quicker video today because I there's just there's some stuff that's going on uh, that I thought I would show everybody, as well as some charting that I think is going to be important. I'm not going to show the stuff on Twitter. I'm just going to tell you about it. I had it up earlier, but I thought uh, um, so. We're going to be talking about Cardano, uh, of course. Um, it's funny because I went and got my hair cut today. And um, I was talking to, uh, hold on, I'll give him a, a little shout out. He did a good job. I think he did a good job. Let me know in the comments. Did my barber do a good job? Um, Frederick Moten, I guess is how you pronounce his name. Uh, but uh, it's funny because I was chatting with him and I was kind of telling him a little bit. I was telling him about the fight with uh, Rommel in Mexico City and uh, just kind of a little bit about what I do and and, and um, just how I'm, I'm basically just grinding all the time. And he's like, what do you do for fun? I'm like, I don't know, man. I think just doing what I do is, I guess, my fun. Uh, and I play video games. Like, I just beat Dragon's Dogma 2 the other night. And uh, it was kind of depressing. <laughs> I was like, damn it, it's over. So I started a new game plus and... Uh, but I, I don't know. I might go back to Baldur's Gate 3 because I haven't finished that yet. But anyway, and we were talking about Cardano, and it turns out a lot like a lot of the barbers there all held Cardano. And they were like, yeah, I got Cardano back then. I got Cardano here. And I'm like, you guys are all holding Cardano. You don't know me. You don't know who I am. Um, it was kind of a funny moment. I was being silly. But, um, but yeah, so, I mean, that was pretty cool. And then recently on uh, YouTube, you guys saw my v a video uh, where I, I was kind of poking a little bit at Ben Armstrong, BitBoy, as some of you know him, uh, for his Cardano is Dead video. And and here's the thing. Listen, folks, we got to calm down because I, I watched the video. I knew what Ben was doing. I talked about it in my video where I was just like, listen, he's just um, he's. He's just trying to get engagement. He obviously does not think Cardano is dead. If you watch the whole video, he explains it. He brings up a couple points, the little little things here and there to basically, you know, support like, oh, well, this isn't just clickbait. But we all know what it was. Now, the problem is he pissed off Charles. And, um, and I, I was actually surprised to see that because I... So... If I were Charles, I'd be pretty frustrated, too, because there's so much FUD and nonsense and just lies. I still see people talking shit about Cardano like it's a ghost chain. It's beyond ridiculous. And one of these days, maybe in my next video, maybe tomorrow, I'm going to go over all the stats, okay? Um, but to, you're going to like what I have to say here coming up, so stick around. I know I'm rambling first. I wasn't planning on it, but I figured I would address it. Um, listen, I know Ben makes some, some stupid mistakes, okay? We all do. We're human beings. And I don't, I definitely don't agree with the way he's gone about some of the stuff over the past, I don't know, two years. I mean, but I, I don't think he's, he's, I don't think he's all a bad guy. I know that you guys love to hate him and maybe that's his thing now. Maybe he's going to be, maybe he wants to be kind of the heel of crypto. I don't know what his stick is anymore. Um, I really kind of stopped paying attention until he brought Cardano into it. And I'm like, okay, now you're going after my children. We're going to, we're going to have to. <laughs> um, and, and the thing of it is, is I watched the video and it really wasn't anything. It wasn't like Cardano is dead. It was just a clickbait title to draw people's attention, make a couple of points and basically say, I know Cardano is going to do really well. I, you know, it, it's just blah, blah, blah. Right. But he did kind of seem to piss off Charles Hoskinson who basically like shunned him and, and, uh, and then Ben was like, you know, if you, if you watch the whole video, you'll see uh you know what it was and and charles basically responded with no thanks oh he was like we should get on an interview and talk about it and charles basically said no thanks once you get on the ada is dead train you're you're we have nothing else to discuss and i was like damn um i don't think that's gonna last i think there there something will happen they'll figure it out figure out a way I mean, we'll see, you know, Ben could go one of two directions with this. He could either say, oh, okay, well, I'll show you and then dig himself into a hole and like just 
do more bad mistakes or he could go about it in the way I probably would and say, you know what? I made a mistake. I shouldn't have done this. This is the real deal about Cardano and how I really feel about it. I pissed off Charles. I didn't mean to. It was all kind of a tongue in cheek video to try and bring all of you in who, you know, are constantly reading all the FUD about Ada. And I wanted to kind of show you some reasons why that's bunk. But he didn't say that. He just said, oh, juicy, I'll bite. I don't know what's going on. It's really getting weird. Um, I, I just I yeah I don't I don't really think I don't think Ben meant to do what happened um so and you guys know how a lot of people are in crypto I mean we all kind of use like little uh clickbaity titles maybe I'll use a really crazy one on this one just to draw in attention but um let's go ahead and, and feed uh you fine folks uh, with what's going on on the charts because and it's not even going to take me very long it's going to be a quick video it might be 10 minutes by the time all is said and done so mark your clocks but we're going to take a look at this these are this is cardano against usd tether now we're going to first look back here at the 2021 having cycle okay so this green line here is the having before everything started to run up well what happened before the having well we, we peaked up a little bit and then we came back down and what we did was we settled, we touched on this 100 moving average, okay, initially. We touched on it, rose back up, and then crashed through it. We got a big dip. And this was a pretty, this is kind of a long dip, all right? This is a daily chart. So, but what happened was when we broke above it, when we broke above this 100 moving average, okay, this is 100 simple moving average, when we broke above that, we did not come back down through it. This was just before the halving, about 15 days, okay, which is uh, roughly where we're at right now. Hint, hint, wink, wink. And then we did not, we did not even touch it again until we rose up. So when we did touch it again, we were still up by 155 percent. Okay, here's the thing. We rose up 250% before we got another downturn pullback in the market, which what this this wasn't just Cardano. This was everything at the time. This was Bitcoin as well. And then we went sideways under the moving average for, uh, it looks like a, a month, uh, something to that effect. And then boom, we broke back above it. And I don't think we touched it again until the market peak. So that and i mean we could take a look at it real quick just to see i'm pretty sure we didn't touch that 100 moving average again until we peaked out i mean look at that this is all money just being printed like crazy peaked out here at 247 we got that first peak you guys will remember uh, i called all of this the day on twitter well i called the bitcoin peak i didn't call the cardano peak but when, when Bitcoin peaked on April 13th, I told everybody and everybody made fun of me and talked their trash like they normally do because they think they know more than they actually do. And and just if you go back to that tweet on Twitter, you can see all the people who went back and like, how you feel about them apples, you know, talking to the people that were doubting me. And the thing nobody did was I called the two peak market that same afternoon on April 13th. I was like, this is first of two. I think this is gonna be a two peak cycle, sure enough. We got that. So when we did break down, we broke all the way down. We did come and crashed below that 100 moving average. And then boom, we went up again for a second peak until we settled um, where we peaked out. It was around 314. Now, if you look at the current market and what's currently happening, lo and behold, what, what's interesting though, is that there's so much about this that is consolidated. There's not as much time. It's like there's a there's a longer time frame um, between X and Z and then another, but then it's short here. But then what was long here is short here. It's almost like a reversal, which is one of the reasons why I believe that we're not going to have like a two peak cycle this time. I think we're going to have one big peak kind of like we had in 2017. And I've been saying that for two years now, but we'll see. So anyway, um, you can see we broke above uh, the 100 moving average here back in October of 2023, came down, touched it, touched it peaked up again, came down, touched it, and then we broke down through it. It's basically a lot of the same stuff that we had going on down here, okay, in the previous cycle. It's almost, this, it's pretty much the same thing. It's interesting how this plays out, right? But the difference is, is that here we are, we are now, um, we're about 15 days, 14, 15 days uh, from the halving, and we've just broke out of 
we just broke out of this. So we didn't break through, we didn't break through, we touched it a couple times, we dipped down, and then we broke above it. Well, if if what played out before uh, plays out this time, which I don't think the percentages are gonna be quite the same because there's a big difference between going from two cents and like a dollar 14 or a dollar 50 or whatever it was to now basically being 60 cents and, and like, let's just see, where would the price be if the price were to go up uh, 256% from here? Um, we'll just kind of get a little, little gather. Let's just say we go, uh, we started up here, 256%. That's 249% right there. So 256% would take us to $2.20 roughly. Um, basically, you know, and, and not much time. You know, you've got April, May, June, July. So even if it were, yeah. I mean, what was the time frame on this? I have to double check. Hold on. Sorry. Um, er, dealing with these charts like this is, is tricky sometimes, folks. Where's my on having it? There it is. All right. So had our having um we had our 256 percent that was over a period of da, 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 da. let's just take this uh, let's say it took us 79 days to reach that so from the date of the having it took 79 days we went up 256 percent so if we were to do the same thing um 279 days would put us i guess i should have been a little more prepared so we didn't have to sit through this all right i'm sorry uh 79 days that would take us to about july all right so yeah and then from there we pulled down so we could pull back down you know what I mean? Maybe we 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 we'll see where resistance and support and all that stuff falls, but maybe it comes back down around a buck forty, and then boom, it's a way we go to eight to ten bucks. I mean, that's just that's just the way I see it. And listen, people can talk all the trash they want, uh, and they can say whatever they want. But if you look at the previous cycle as it compares to what's been happening in this one. It is very, very similar. Now, I'm not saying that the exact stuff is gonna happen. Maybe we only go up 150%, I don't really know. Um, but it, it's just, it's very obvious that the, 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 the trending patterns and price action are very, very similar. And and you know what? That's that's wonderful to me. Um, because if everything were to line up um, much more closely this time around, and keep in mind, there are so many things that we have in this cycle that we didn't have in that last one. And if anything, I think that the price action is probably gonna move quicker, could potentially even move farther um, than it did in the previous cycle. It could be faster, better, stronger, because we've got DeFi, we've got staking, we've got so much utility, we have so, we have so much that's gonna drive this price. Not to mention we have, I mean, what, 500 even, I don't even know, I haven't even looked. I'm gonna have to do that. I'm gonna gather up all the statistics. How many pools do we have right now? I think the max number of pools we had back in that cycle was uh, like 25, 2600. Um, I could be wrong, but but all, that's all we could do at the time. When we were running through the last bull cycle, all we could do is stake our ADA and generate a little bit of a passive yield. That was before all, all the other fun stuff. So basically, all the best stuff related to Cardano is launched during the bear market. And it's just been slowly growing and accumulating and, and just kind of festering like a big, big zit that's going to pop here in 2024 into 2025. So, yeah, I mean, listen, I, that's all I got to say today. I hope the, the this email finds you where this, uh, this email. I'm looking at so many different windows right now trying to keep my shit together. Uh, I just have so much going on. I'm getting updates on my game. Um, I'm hoping to actually play my developer at my Wargrim uh, trading card game. And I just came up with this crazy idea that nobody's ever done in a TCG. And he's like, I love it. We've got to do it. And I'm like, oh, sometimes I just have too many ideas. And I, and and so we're going to, it's going to be a first things first thing. But I think this game is going to be off the hook. I really do. Um, and hopefully every Cardano holder out there plays it and loves it and starts collecting the cards. And, uh, I mean, all, when all is said and done, I think there's going to be like 10,000 cards and we're doing them all one by one by one. And there's just, there's going to be a lot of stuff involved. It's going to take a long time. They're going to be sets and things like everything else, but, um, it's going to be fun making them. So 
Uh, anyway, this is a big week for me, folks. I've got Gr- Gary Cardone. Um, I'm actually going to meet him uh, either at his house or near his house. I was at his birthday party uh, the other weekend and, and met him, and he was super cool. We talked about Cardano a bit, so I'm gonna he's going to be interviewing me on his channel uh, Wednesday. And then Thursday, I'm interviewing Charles Hoskinson. Um, I, there's there's This is going to be a busy week, so uh, hopefully... I, that's why I got my hair hair did. Okay, that's why I'm I'm looking so pretty and old today instead of just old. So until next time, guys, curl your coins. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you soon.